Hey guys, it's Brian and Jeff with Blaze Bite. We're here in, what is this, Twinsburg? Macedonia? Macedonia. At the Papish Pub, aka Kevin, Papish. Kevin Papish's house. And uh, apparently he does some really delicious smoked wings. Yeah, he's been telling us for a long time, hey, I love watching your reviews, but I make better wings than any place you've gone to, so we're going to try them out, right? Why not? All right, he's our biggest fan. What'd you do to your leg? <laughs> Too many wings. guys, we're at Kevin Pampish's house. We're in his basement. In his basement, and we're about to do our wing review. We, we've got three different flavors. They're all smoked. Barbecue, barbecue, or barbecue. <laughs> so I hope you like barbecue. I, I love barbecue. Well, I like barbecue. I'm not the biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, our, our, our beer of choice here at the, the Pampish household is Natural Light. You can see the beer sign in the back. Cheers. 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 Cheers to Natty Light and Blaze Bite. Cheers. Kevin, thank you so much for doing this for us. I'm pretty excited about it. They should really reconsider putting these in those plastic water bottles. <laughs> what water bottles are you talking about? It's like water, man. It's like water. water. <laughs> I was like, what's he talking about? I thought he was talking about when he's in college right and set. he has to put it in the water bottle to disguise it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, do we have certain heat levels or anything? Uh, this one's barbecue? the hottest. And okay. then this one's probably the mildest. That one's a hickory. Okay. So we got barbecue, hickory barbecue, and hot barbecue. Perfect. All ending in barbecue. Sorry, Nate. <laughs> all right, Nate, you go first. I'll let you pick. All right. Brian. I'm gonna, it's like reaching in. They look uh, definitely caramelized. Yeah. They look more like a like a rib cook off than a. Yeah, it does. Cook. You can see the dark caramelization in the background. It's really crispy. crispy. Like, look. Yeah. yeah, it does look crispy. Hmm. Um, are you guys ready? Cheers. Cheers. So this one's regular barbecue. Oh, you can taste that smoke flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Wow. It's smoking. There's so much sauce on it. Mm-hmm. I like the the charred broil on that too. I can't believe how crispy this is. Mm -hmm. Were these smoked only? I think they're smoked then fried. Wow. Oh wow. They're not that big though. At least the one I grabbed. Yeah, mine was mine was a little tiny, but that may be what makes them so crispy as well. The sauce isn't bad, but I mean that that smoke just overpowered the sauce. Hmm. Man, this barbecue, Kevin, I'm really really impressed. I might start liking barbecue now. <laughs> I I I think I the wasn't combination of smoke with barbecue is a huge mm -hmm. plus. Yeah, that's probably why he didn't offer us any other flavors since he smoked them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that was pretty good, Kevin. Let's go ahead and rate. Nate, you've been through this before, right? Five is average. Yes. Okay. This is my first wing review, but I'll... you've watched it. I, 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 yes, I, I know. I get the gist. You've drank through many of them. Are you gonna do the the wing challenge with us on Wednesday at Quaker Steak and Lube? I feel like it's. A, have you done it before, Brian? Yeah, I did the, the atomic and the triple atomic. See, yeah, I've done it too, so I don't know if it's fair or if I do it again. So yeah, I know I can do been, it. It's been like probably 10 years, so at least. And I did, I'm i scared still. Ready? All right, you guys ready? One, two, three. Wow, maybe I, I like my brother-in-law the best. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, why don't you go first? Um, so the I liked uh, I thought the size was really pretty small. I gave it a four, so I think we're right on there. Um, that barbecue sauce, I don't know. I've had I've had better barbecue sauce, but the smoked flavor with it gave it a above average rating. It's still not the best barbecue sauce I've ever had. I give it a six point nine. Crispiness, I thought it was really crispy. I give it an almost nine, eight point nine, and then uh, heat level was one. Because there was no heat level. Overall, 7.1 though. 
Thought it was good. That's a pretty good rating. Yeah. Nate. All right. So I got a 6.3. The size, I think it's definitely below average. Um, it looks like everyone kind of got a smaller wing. But with the flavor and sauce, it was actually, I think, a little too much sauce, too much sauce on it, especially probably because I don't like barbecue sauce, so that doesn't help. <laughs> uh, but it was actually probably one of the better barbecue sauces I've ever tried. So, again, I don't try a lot of barbecue sauce, but it was actually pretty good. Uh, crispy Dust 9.0, uh, probably one of the crispiest wings I've had in a long time. You can tell by the char and everything, it was really, really crispy. And heat, it was just a plain old barbecue, so there's no heat, so I just gave it a one. Cool. Um, overall, 8.8, .8, Kevin. The, the size of the wing, below average, 4.2. That flavor, I, I think with the smoked and the barbecue, it was just so good. It was one of the best barbecues I've ever had. And it had to do with the smokiness, not just the flavor of the sauce. Crispiness, 7.8. I think we all agree they were very crispy. One here, and an overall, 8.8. .8. So, you know, normally you like a hot wing and barbecue, so I've never seen you put something with no heat that high on an 8, I think. Like um, a sweeter sauce, giving it almost a I think it's because the flavor was so high. So, okay. yeah. That's interesting. I yeah. just thought it pointed uh, Well, out. I mean, if it had spice... And heat. I think it might that, be. That would have been in the oh, nine. So watch out for the hot barbecue then. I Maybe. think that might be. That might be my best wing Although ever. it's not the same barbecue with heat. So That's true. We don't know what we're getting there. All right, so we're going to cleanse our palate. Oh. Homemade french fries. Look at those. Mm. Oh, salty. <laughs> I guess I get one too, right? They are yeah. really good though. Who made these french fries? Again, they're very crispy. <laughs> Everything's crispy in this household. <laughs> Cheers. Natty Light. Just like we're in college. The thing is, college, Kevin makes good money and everything, and yet he still prefers Natty Light as just a taste. He doesn't mind spending more money, he just likes the taste of natural light. Well, he just announced there's a 70 rack now, so he's trying to get his bang for his buck. I like water too. I love water. <laughs> Keeps I you hydrated. Yep. So which one's next? Uh, next we're going to do the hickory right. barbecue. I'll let you go first. This Nate. one's interesting because the wings are already smoked. And yet we're going to have a hickory smoke flavored barbecue sauce. So that's, I don't know, I find that interesting. Again, I think a little small, but definitely mm. crispy. You can feel the, you just look like at the it little it's crispy. caramelized black edges. Cheers. Very saucy. Very saucy. Hmm. This one's a little different. It's got like a ketchup taste to it. Vinegar. Yeah, it's really mm -hmm. sweet. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Maybe more of a vinegar based barbecue. Like Carolina. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's how small it is that it's still really crispy. Well, it's usually the smaller the wing, the crispier it is. Yeah, that actually makes sense. <laughs> the larger I mean, wings are usually aren't I haven't crispy. had a lot of wings, but that's what I heard. I've had one or two. <laughs> hmm. I, I feel like this sauce didn't complement the smoke flavor as much. No, as I... Well. Yeah, I mean, I still... It ends, it finishes. All these wings finish with a smoke flavor. Mm -hmm. But, um... I don't know. I think I would have liked that sauce maybe better on a, on a rib than on a wing. Yeah. Personally. And there's a little kick to it, though. A little bit more than the last one, but not not, not too much. You guys ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Wow. We went from <laughs> like, oh, this is awesome to, eh. Uh, Nate, you want to start off? <clears throat> sure. So size is a little bit smaller than my first one. Uh, just a little too, a little too small. It could be a little bit bigger. Sauce. This is actually where I have the problem with the most. It's actually, I've said it before. It's too saucy because the worst thing about going to like a restaurant or Kevin's house is that I have to keep using my napkin constantly. I already went through a whole napkin already. That's why and you just lick your fingers like I do. I don't know. I, but I, he doesn't I, like the sauce. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and that's where it comes back to like the sauce. It was a little too, like you said, ketchupy, really sweet. Um, definitely like the first one better, but I think it could definitely, it, it was not as good as the first one. And then for the heat level, it was actually a little bit, 
a little more spicy than the first one, despite a little, but still nothing really too game changing. So I gave it an overall 4.2. Okay. Um, this was a little bit smaller, the wing that I had. Um, so I gave it a 3.8. Uh, the flavor was a 4.6. I think it was below average. Um, it might be even a little lower the more I think about it. I didn't really like that sauce at all. Um, the crispiness was 7.8, which I enjoyed. Heat level 2.1. So my overall, I, I think it was slightly above average that wing. So I gave it a 5.8. I'm uh, slightly below average. I gave it all, all overall rating of 4.9. I felt like the size was a little bit lower, so I gave it a 3.8. Um, if it wasn't for those wings being smoked and then fried, I could probably eat the wings without sauce and like them. The sauce actually brought down the wing to a 4.9. So uh, I would not do that sauce ever again. <laughs> I would do that wing again, just not not that sauce. So, um, otherwise, this would probably that would have been like a two rating if it wasn't for the smoked and fried wing. Uh, crispiness eight point eight. I felt like that's actually a good level of crispiness because they're not too dry when you bite into them, but they're still really crispy. And then a one overall for heat. I didn't think it was hot at all. Really? You didn't think it was a little bit high, hotter than the last one? No. Oh. Yeah, I think the preparation the, the vinegar really maybe. good on this. The preparation like. It's just a sauce that's kind of killing it right now for me, at least. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to get it below average. <laughs> awesome. It would have been lower if it wasn't for uh, the wing being so good itself. What about oh, we got to cleanse, cleanse our palate. palate. Oh, can't I definitely that. want to cleanse my palate go. after that one. Just so you guys know, this whole bowl was not filled up with french fries, okay? It was not. It was, you know, it was only a little bit of I don't have snack on this entire time before the review. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Do you have any sparing haze around? Yeah, I know. I think I might. <laughs> no, I, I actually have a couple. It might be a little low. Guys. Do you want to finish your beer now? I just finished it. Oh. What do I owe you? Fifty cents? A nickel. <laughs> I think no. some of my natty might have splashed in the wings, guys. It's okay. It might 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 uh, help the flavor out. It might wash some of the sauce off for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So what's this last one? Uh, this one is a hot barbecue, 100 year recipe, three generations, and it's sold on the shelves at Giant Eagle. Oh, this one looks bigger. Uh oh. I found a decent. Oh, that's actually that's a good one. Oh, wow. Look at that. I still love this chard. Yeah, look at that. Behind the scenes. Look at that. Oh, it's like saucy, smoky. Saucy, <laughs> smoky. <laughs> Sorry. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, guys. It's more hot. You get the taste of a hot sauce, but not the kick of a hot yeah, sauce. Yeah, I don't taste any hot, any kick at all. You know how like a hot sauce has a certain flavor? I get the flavor, but no kick. That's kind of weird. I love the smoked flavor at the end, though. That's, that's one of my favorite things. I think I like smoked wings. I think it's the first time I ever had a smoked wing, but it's really good. This one was a little more like, dry. Yeah, definitely a lot more dry. Which is probably what I actually like the, I liked it a lot better because it was less sauce. I'm saying like even the meat inside seemed a little bit more. Maybe it was cooked a little more on that one or something. I'm gonna go get the chef. Tell yeah. him uh, your review. I think you <laughs> messed up on one wing, dude. All right. One, two, three, go. Cool. Yeah, we're all right around in line this time. Uh, I'll go first. So that was a pretty big wing for me um, out of all the ones that we've gotten. But with that being said, it's just over average. So I gave it a 5.2. Um, the flavor was a 5.2. It, it, the flavor, like Brian said with the last wing, a lot of it comes from the smokiness. Um, the flavor of the sauce I wasn't thrilled with. So he gets a 5.2 on that. Um, the crispiness, awesome, 7.3. The heat level, I, I said about a 2.4. So overall, it was a 5.9. It was above average. If I went somewhere and got these wings, I think I'd be impressed and, and happy with them. But they're not, they're not my favorite by any means. Okay. Overall, I did a 5.4, size 
It was the biggest wing I've had uh, out of all the wings, but still, I don't think it's a, at average yet. I think it's slightly below average flavor. I think that was the best one yet. I wish it did have a little bit more of a kick to it. Uh, there was really not that much heat. I think it tasted similar to the last one. That's why I gave it a three on the heat as well. Then for crispiness, this was actually the least crispy wing I've had, uh, but still way above average on the crispiness level. So overall, 5.4. I gave it a slightly above average. It did have a little kick. Um, I again, I think you bring it back to the smoked wing and fried wing. I gave it a 4.8 for size, a 4 for flavor, 9.1. I felt like that was a little bit crispier, almost dry. You know, almost got kind of a dry. You know, didn't seem uh, moist inside. And then uh, heat level, I gave 2.3. So my overall rate was 5.7. What I learned from this experience at Papish Pub was that I think. Uh, you know, Kevin needs some help shopping for wing sauces because <laughs> he does. He's definitely knows how to cook a wing. Yep. Uh, we just got to help him find some better sauces. That's all. So, Kevin, we'll get you there for sure. Um, if he would have got some decent sauces in there, he could have easily gotten maybe a first ten. Yeah, and if they were a little, a little bit bigger. bigger. Yeah. If he had a little yeah. bit bigger, and, th and that's partially bigger. my fault. I went and bought the wings from uh, Restaurant Depot, so I, maybe that's why I gave him such a high number on the first one. Um, well, awesome. Thanks, Nate, for joining yes. us. Um, if you guys haven't liked us on Facebook, please do so. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, all of that stuff. Anything else? Uh, come to Papish Pub anytime you'd like. They're open late don't and early. To, you don't have to knock. Just so, come right yep, in. Just walk right in. <laughs> Cheers. Awesome. To place, Cheers. And Kevin for doing this. Thanks, guys.